Hi everyone, my name is Cynthia. Let's talk books. Today I'm here with a dedicated review of one of the most amazing books I have ever read, period. And that is Solito by Javier Zamora. I recently did a couple of videos on this book as I was reading it on TikTok. And I just found so many people that uh, related to the stories in the book and related to my reaction of it. And I wanted to make sure that everybody on YouTube also heard about this book. It is the memoir of Javier Zamora. He's from Central America, from El Salvador, and he made the journey to the United States when he was nine years old, all by himself. So the first part of the book is talking about him being left in El Salvador to be raised by his grandparents uh, while his parents were both in the United States. And we get to learn what brought his father and his mother to the United States and what life was like for him in El Salvador. Then, and he's constantly missing his parents and wishing that he could be with them. So eventually the parents make the decision to pay a coyote to bring the son to the United States. They pick a coyote that has worked for them in the past. The mom used him and her trip was fast and as easy as this, these kinds of migrations can be. However, for Javier, the journey was very different. What was supposed to be a two-week journey ends up being two months. Um, the coyotes have been paid and they do kind of keep an eye out on for him, but uh, he's on his own and he ends up actually only being able to survive this journey thanks to the help of two really important people um, during this time. People that he spends every day, every minute of these uh, two months with. And then as soon as he gets to the U.S., they basically disappear from his life. This story is so emotional, but so important. Um, unaccompanied minors making their way to the U.S.-Mexico border has been an uh, a growing crisis at the border, one that um, is very hard for Americans to understand. It's hard to understand what drives people to risk the lives of their children in such a way. And to me, that is the power of poverty, of violence in people's homes, um, hometowns, and the power of the American dream, which brings and has brought immigrants to this country for a very long time. Uh, throughout the book, there's just, there's so many places at which <laughs> the story could have gone very differently because this is a very dangerous journey, especially for a nine-year-old boy. I had to stop several times while reading this book and go watch interviews with Javier Zamora as a reminder to myself that he survives this journey, right? That this is a memoir. I think in a fictionalized story, the ending might to have turned out very, very different. Um, but uh, it's also really great to hear his interviews because he discusses the trauma of this journey and what has taken decades for him to come to terms with and begin healing from. He's at a point now where he was able to write the book and able to discuss this publicly, but it's it's been a journey and it's a journey of healing that many immigrants don't experience. Like they don't experience the healing part. So I, I love the interviews. If you can, I'll link a few down below. Please check them out. Uh, key themes in the story are the journey from El Salvador to Guatemala and then from Guatemala to Mexico. These are extremely dangerous journeys and he takes us into the, his story uh, through the eyes of a nine-year-old boy, which makes everything that much more <laughs> Um, scary and horrific. Um, he spends a lot of time talking about the kind of discrimination and racism that he experienced in Me Mexico um, and how skin color becomes m even more visible to him than it had been in El Salvador as he's making this journey across Mexico. There are times when he is countering people that uh, could really hurt him uh, all because of his skin color. Uh, but at the same time, he's encountering good people, good people that are helping and are uh, going to make sure that he makes this journey as um, safely as you can. It's not a very safe journey, right? But I was so glad that he talked about the racism in, in Mexico, especially that kind of discrimination towards Central and South American migrants. It's a big deal, and it's only an increasing crisis as the, the U.S. policies have directly made that journey much more uh, dangerous for migrants, um, even in Mexico. Right? It, it, it's U.S. policy that is ultimately causing and making that journey even more 
um, hard, even more hard than it has to be. Um, then there's the journey once he gets to the border and making the, the journey across. Um, he makes the, he crosses the border through the desert and that, <laughs> even in the best of circumstances, is horrific. Uh, I'm going to link an organization that I really love um, down in the description box, uh, Border Angels. They do incredible work of doing water drops in the desert between the Mexican and U.S. border because migrants have been funneled by Border Patrol through the most dangerous parts of the desert on purpose so that if they're not caught by Border Patrol, they're going to be basically killed in the desert. And it's horrific, and, and it makes the, the work of organizations like Border Angels that much more important. Border Angels also has been doing a lot of work uh, trying to fund shelters uh, in Tijuana, shelters that cater to uh, Central American migrants, Haitian migrants, people uh, from all over the world and that are now stuck in um, the Mexican side of the border. Um, they also do a lot to bail people out of immigration detention centers. I just wanted to bring some attention to them because they're doing fantastic work and could really use the money. Um, also, if at all possible, I really think you should give this book a try. Like, it is a fantastic story, expertly told. Uh, if you're interested in the audiobook, Javier Zamora is the one who narrates it. And that's how I consumed the story via audiobook. But I loved it so much that I had to go out and get the physical copy of the book because this is a book that I just, I want to own, that I want to be able to keep recommending to people and talking about. So I went ahead and got um, the, the book. Another thing that um, Spanish speakers are going to love about the story is the way Spanish is used in here. It is expertly beautifully told you'll be able to tell that Zamora is a poet because the way he narrates this story the use of Spanish and English is absolutely beautiful just beautiful um, and for that alone I think this book is worth it obviously a lot of content warnings for violence for dehydration for hunger um, and <sighs> Despite how hard it was to get through the book, I think it's worth it. I typically stay away from reading immigrant stories like this because it's very personal for me. It's the journey of my family. It's my journey. It's the journey of millions of people throughout history. And I just, it's hard for me to detach from my personal experience and that of my family members. But I am so glad that I picked this book up and that I gave myself the opportunity to have this literary experience with the story. Um, so um, highly recommend it. If you've picked up Solito or if you plan to, please let me know down in the description. I just, I have so much love for this book and cannot give it a high enough praise and recommendation. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!